Uh, I don't have any smell anymore on my hand arm. Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. In this video, if you're struggling with uh, dark underarm, this video is actually for you. So I've been using the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution for the last one month. And I'll show you, this is how, I'll show you the pictures of how my underarm used to be before I started using this product. And also, um, I the first day I used this product, I'll show you the video somewhere here. I'll show you the video and place I did I did not want to put this product on my armpits just like that after shaving or after waxing so I used I used this product in the video I'm showing you on my unshaved armpit just to see how it was going to react with my armpit you know you don't just want to put something you've never used on your armpit like that because you don't know how it's going to turn out as much as this product went viral for underarm and stuff you just need to be careful and also i've been using this product once uh i just use it uh, at pm actually the directions of use is ideally for pm you can use this product as a toner on your face so you can use it you can use it at pm no no more frequently than once per day so you need to be very careful while you're using this product you need to start very slowly so maybe you start on monday wednesday and maybe saturday so it depends uh depends on how your skin is going to react with this product but you don't want to put this product each and every day on your skin it, it might cause it might cause irritation to your skin so you, you want to start slowly until the product is used to your skin let me show you how i use this product and i'm also going to show you my uh wax uh um paste because i did wax like i did i did go for my waxing appointment uh when was that like three days ago so i'm going to show you and you can actually see the difference of how when i started using this product and right now the way it is so give me one minute i go check the other thing i didn't mention is that since i started using this product i don't have i don't my armpit don't smell anymore not that how uh, my armpit do smell but i notice i don't have any smell anymore but i do still sweat you know so yes yeah, so this is how my armpit is at the moment after using it for um, after using it for one month so i just did my i did just wax my armpit the other day three days ago so this is and you can still see i still have the razor bounds like where the ingrows hair used to be but they're not as visible as they used to be so this is how i use this product so i take the i take a cotton pad and put a little bit of it not too much a little bit of it in the cotton pad then I just apply it all apply it on my armpit and I want to let it dry I've seen other videos I've seen other people actually applying a moisturizer after applying this product but for me I can't I can't apply any moisturizer because my armpit is very because because my armpit is very sensitive but you can apply any mild moisturizer but you want to make sure that moisturizer you're applying on your armpit doesn't have apply moisturizer make sure it doesn't have any retinol and also it doesn't have it doesn't have any salicylic acid because this product is already it has acid in it already it has a toning solution in it already so you want to make sure you avoid moisturizers of this of, of those kinds otherwise it will make your armpit very sensitive so yeah then i do this on this other side also i was actually worried if this product was going to make my armpit sensitive because i have very sensitive armpit you know uh, armpit the skin of the armpit is very it's very thin and very sensitive and also if you apply something you know we put it this way it actually stays in so the absorption of product in your armpit is very high because the skin is curved you know the skin is curved doesn't get 
I, it's not like applying a product on the face because the face it's not tucked in that's what i mean so this is how this product is so if i have to apply a moisturizer in my skin i let this product sit for some few minutes i let this product sit for some few minutes before I apply the before I apply any moisturizer this product can be very drying at some point so you want to make sure if you're applying a moisturizer you can apply any moisturizer maybe avino avino moisturizer body moisturizer or you can apply cerave moisturizing moisturizing cream so yeah those are some of the products i know you can use with this product very well without causing any irritation so yeah so this is how this product has been on my hand i'm going to actually do this other video i'm going to be i'll do i'll do a follow-up of this video and show you how this product has been with my pro with my armpit after i'll do another video maybe in the next two months or maybe in the next three months but then this product has been just amazing for me i'm going to dress up again because i'm going to dress up again because i don't want youtube to give me problems with my some of the causes of um, dark and uh, and da dark armpits are the use of deodorants. If you use some deodorants which has uh, which has alcohol, which has uh, perfumes, and also they make your underarms actually they can irritate your underarms and makes it. Uh, it makes you have inflammation and also shaving for me shaving is really not for me at all so i move from shaving to waxing at the moment so as you can see these photos i'm showing you this is how i used to get my underarms after shaving i get a lot of irritation i get a lot of ingrowth there and you know after getting all that is irritation inflammation and you have hyperpigmentation so avoid um frictions Oh, you want to avoid tight clothes. So if you have tight clothes, it can also cause your underarms to darken up and dead skin. So for dead skin, for me, this is what I use. Dead skin can also cause in hyperpigmentation. So for um, dead skin, this is what I use. I use Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub. I use it, I gently uh, use it on my, on my armpits, especially when I'm going to especially when i'm going to uh, wax because i don't shave anymore because my armpit is very sensitive i can't shave anymore and it causes me a lot of pain within grow hairs and everything so these as you as you i'll show you a video of how i started i have a lot of i did have a lot of hyperpigmentation because of shaving it causes irritation in gross air inflammation so i have hyperpigmentation on my skin i think that has made this product really works well for me is a routine i have a routine i apply this product and also i do work so if you shave you want to have a, you want to have a routine of shaving if you are the person if you are a person who is shaving you want to have a, a routine of shaving you want to make sure you you exfoliate you want to make sure you exfoliate and if you are doing waxing you want to make sure also you have a routine of doing all these things and if you have a little bit of a little bit of cash you can do lesser but that's on a higher side the things i've tried which did not really work for me are um, i tried lemon you know uh, the traditional lemon and i don't know you mix it lemon and turmeric i did mix lemon and turmeric and did not work for me it causes a lot of irritation on my skin i think lemon uh, for my skin i i thought it was so much acidic for my under underarms and it could is a lot of irritation for me so well i also i also felt to mention that this product i bought this product in uh, amazon at 11 pounds but if you're in uh, uk you can get this product in uh, boots uh, the ordinary products are in boots and pounds i bought it in amazon at 12 pounds so i'll leave the link on the description box below so that you can get it if you buy through my codes i get a little bit of commission with no added amount in your amazon so the other thing i failed to mention that after starting using this product without my armpit do smell but i don't have any smell coming from my armpit you know that smell you know then but i still sweat and yeah 
<laughs> I have a routine after sometimes I do exfoliate my skin also I still use this I still use the dove I still use the dove I use it maybe once per week or twice per week and yes and I still wax I still wax I don't have any ingrowns hairs anymore but I won't link my ingrowns hairs with this um not having ingrowns hairs with this because i'm not shaving my shaving is what was causing my ingrowns hairs i did everything with uh, shaving i don't know towards uh towards the growth of hair and all that i had i was using the right razor the four the very sensitive razor everything and it's no it did not work for me shaving did not work for me that's why i'm waxing i wax once per month or after every three weeks and yeah so i love this product my my you yes yeah, so i don't have any in hair and my hyperpigmentation is actually the dark uh, underarm is fading i'll do another video showing you how far it has gone and yes that's all that i've been doing so what you also want to avoid while using this product just for general health of your for general health of your armpit you want to if you're shaving make sure you exfoliate before you shave and also you want to avoid the you want to avoid deodorants which has alcohol perfume which has aluminum in them they're not actually good for your armpit and also you want to make sure exfoliate. you have a routine and you have a you be careful while using this product you don't want to cause any burn to your skin so you want to make sure you start using this product very slowly then you go gradually after you want to start using this product very slowly until it's okay for your skin also you want to avoid using this product on a broken skin if you use this product on a broken skin it's going to cause very it's going to be very itchy you want to avoid using this product a broken skin and if it goes in your eyes, you want to make sure you wash these product out. And also, the other thing I also notice: do you do you see the color of this product? So you want to avoid using, you want to avoid, you want to make sure it dries up before you put you 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 dress or you put on a white shirt because at some times I saw it maybe staining my white white shirts or my white shape t shirts. So yeah and and that's all for this video if you and this product has so many various uses you can use it on your dark if you have here yeah, if here is dark is it called if here is dark and also you can use it on your you can also use it on your face as a toner and you can also use it on when you are you can also use it on your armpit and i've also seen other people using it too if you have tattoo you can use it i've seen other people cleaning their tattoo with or just applying on top of their tattoo so and i've also seen other people using it on their if you have stretch marks but um i've just seen other people doing it so i've not tried them so i'm just mentioning so yes so it has so many uses don't get keep this product it's very good for you it's very good it's a very good product if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and i will see you on my next i will see you on my next video thank you bye bye